it's about letting go of the self-concept. You know, for example, for human beings, an identification with a car can be a security identification. That's where the fear is coming in. With, if the car starts to be choppy and it has trouble <coughs> driving and everything, and there's a threat of it breaking down, then that's a security breach in the mind. Because even though Lesson 50 from the Course says, I am sustained by the love of God, he said, you, in this world you believe you are sustained by everything else but the love of God. Pills, money, protective clothing, being liked, knowing the right people. He, he lists physical things, he, he lists psychological things. He says, you really believe you're sustained by everything in the world but the love of God. And yet the lesson is always taking us into to starting to trust more. Like we have a friend, uh, Lisa, who's, who's in Hawaii now. And oh, for many, many years, Lisa's always used to having a car. To go out with the keys, to hop in and start the car and drive where she wants to. A symbol of freedom, a symbol of security. You know, there could be a number of things that the car, as part of the self-concept image, seems to provide. Recently she's had an experience where she, she's been in Hawaii with no car. And fear started to come up, just like for you, the choppy car started to bring up fear. Well, fear started to come up for Lisa as well, around not having this car. And I talked to her about a week or two ago, and with no car, and she was just meditating. And the Spirit said, go to Pahoa, which is this town. And so she started walking towards the main road, and because it was very strong, she was to do that. And she's had now a series of hitchhiking experiences, something she's never done in her life. But she's had a series without a car of the Spirit telling her exactly wh where to go, when to go, and she keeps getting picked up and given rides by David characters. She said every time she gets in the car, it's David. And then the next one's David, and the next one's David. So she told me recently that she was guided to go to the road, start, and she put her thumb out. This, this man is between 60 and 70 years old. Not often do you find people that between 60 and 70 will pick up a hitchhiker. Picked her up, his name was David, again. <laughs> and he said, he said, when she got in the car, have you ever heard of quantum physics, he said. And she said, yeah, yeah, I love quantum physics, and proceeded the whole drive to tell her that there's a quantum shift going on, and that she better really be open to be very flexible, but to really hang in there to, to stay with what is, to stay in the moment. But the only way that she would survive the quantum shift of what's happening is to stay in the moment. And so she got the ride all the way in to this Pahoa town where she was guided to go. She sat there, talked to the people at the store, finally she felt she was to go back. She asked if anybody at the store was going back her way. And she was given two, two rides back, all the way to her, her door. All the way, uh, the hitchhiker, she hitchhiked all the way to the door. She didn't even have to walk on the way back, two rides. And she said, uh, the guy that picked her up and asked her, David, about the quantum shift and if she knew about quantum physics, she was only standing on the road for two minutes with her thumb out. And all of that was teaching her, I am with you. I am with you always. And you need not be afraid. You know, it was just symbols the Holy Spirit was using to teach her that she could be perfectly peaceful and joyful and happy without a car. Without a car handy, without that set of keys hanging right there that she could always just grab. It was just another step in divine providence, really, showing you're safe. Your safety and security does not rely on that car or on that car starting, or even if there is a car or not. And so, that, those, that's what's happening. Um, and really, you know, once you start to realize that that's the lesson, then you start to just be open to whatever comes, and you start to pay close attention to your emotions. So if fear is coming up, then there's something important to look at with the Holy Spirit. And that's when you want to just go into prayer, and not, not right away be so concerned about the car, but say, what is the deeper, 
Let's do burlesque in here. 